The DUT SRC elections have commenced and are set to continue until the 15th of September. Two student political organizations, the EFFSC and SASCO, are running for the elections and have been conducting manifesto campaigns prior the election day. Yeah. Yeah, I'm born going to one more bed. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a yes. I've never voted for the SRC. I'm not into politics. I'm not into politics. I, I don't think I can call a vote or else. And I can think I need to under EFF and ANC now. I just won't vote. Why? Because I want to make, yeah, make a change. I want to have an impact on making a change. Duty. Do you feel the political uh, parties in this institution will be able to make that change? Yeah, I believe EFF can can make more changes. You know, up in school. Oh, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Um, I'm a bit busy now, but I will vote tomorrow. Introduce a trailer from the EFF SC. Share his sentiments about the elections. I did confident about winning elections because we have won election for past five years and we are running election for our sixth term and when we've been genuine in championing the interest of our students as the governing party and we still believe that we are going to come back for the sixth term. Both political members were actively involved in helping students with the process of voting online. The they express their feelings towards the 65% average required from SRC candidates. Local section is under cool as a South African Student Congress because we are for Abantu Abba Fundayo, Abangama Academy within the institution. Because um, these people will be able to resolve my issues, Genzela, and there is in capacity, Yabanta Abawi level of higher education. You can say it's not what's our advantage, but what is currently happening in terms of the SRC election is that. The activism of people that are participating yearly is continuing to decrease in terms of student activism and leadership-wise in terms of the SRC. So the policy that has been introduced has brought a downgrade in activism around campus. A downgrade that not many people that qualify, that have the right leadership skills, are not eligible to contest at the end of the day, but people are not eligible in terms of leadership and quality-wise, are not are able to contest most of the time. The, the, the new development, we were totally against them because now, uh, in terms of procedures that ought to be followed in, uh, so that uh, we realize the amendment of the constitution, it was stuck around from the side of the university, claim, hoping that the EFF student command won't qualify, but the EFF student command consists of intellectuals, academia, so we managed to get those 65 and then we are contesting elections. So it, it's something that is null and void. So it's, it's, It kills us, the, the, the activism of students because now also to found people who, who are entering to SRC are people, are people who are not visible to a ground, are people who are not fighting generally focus on academics. So this system was to suppress the political visibility or the activism of students here in campus. For Credible Source by DUT, I'm Nontobego Macholi.